So if you're watching this video, you are probably going to check out the Witcher series on Netflix, but may have never played the games or read the books, and you're looking for more information on the series to prepare. And we've seen the Witcher on Netflix already, and we're planning to do extensive coverage of the series, so if you want to stay up to date on all things The Witcher, be sure to subscribe. And with that being said, let's get started. Witchers come from a long and storied history of legendary figures both feared and respected by the populace. Witchers play a vital role within the novels as they act as mercenaries throughout the series with one distinct difference. They aren't paid to kill humans, they're paid to kill monsters. Although most witchers aren't opposed to spilling the blood of a man if the need arises. As detailed in the books as well as the games due to their otherness, unusual abilities, and magical skills, witchers are treated as outcasts and sometimes even met with hatred. While the world could not function without witchers, they are seen as the lesser of two evils when compared to literal monsters, demons, and otherworldly beings that roam about. According to Dandelion, Geralt's close friend, the first witchers appeared roughly 300 years before the events of The Last Wish, when the world was overrun by monsters and creatures of the night. The witchers took charge and helped cleanse the world of these monsters and helped humanity carve a place for themselves within the world. Taken as children, witchers are ruthlessly trained in combat, as well as the mystic arts in a tradition that has been passed down for generations. Since witchers live a harsh and painful life, training isolated from society, many of them are cold and distant when interacting with regular humans. Witchers themselves believe they cannot even feel emotion, but this idea has been largely debunked in almost every case. It's more the isolation and harsh training that led to the witchers' ice-cold demeanor. But because witchers act so differently from everyone else, the rumor that witchers are inhuman has been propagated for centuries, and their golden eyes certainly don't help. See his face! God save us! Be gone, and don't ever come back! Witchers are not inhuman, or non-humans as they're called in the Witcher series, and each witcher considers it a profession, not a race they identify as. Although there have been witchers who were not human, the school of the cat would regularly train elves in the art of the witcher, most of them are human. The specifics of a witcher's training may vary slightly depending on which school the child is taken into, which we'll cover more in depth in other videos, but the currently known schools include the School of the Wolf, who have trained the most legendary and reliable witchers of all time, the School of the Cat, who is one of the few to train female witchers, and as I said earlier, they've also trained elves in the art of the witcher, the School of the Viper, who are more akin to assassins, sporting small twin blades instead of the traditional long swords, the school of the bear, which focuses on brute strength and defensive strategies, the school of the griffin, which prioritizes magic over traditional combat, the school of the crane, who are especially good at taking out monsters of the sea and the air, and of course the school of the manticore, which is a new school that was introduced in the video games, not the original source material. While we know that there are more Witcher schools out there, these are the seven that we know of at this time. And although each school varies in their philosophy, the steps implemented to become a Witcher are all the same. As we mentioned previously, witchers are trained from childhood and put through rigorous physical, magical, and mental tests to prepare them to battle all manner of monster, but they don't simply receive specialized training. Each witcher is enhanced via a very painful process of alchemy and mutation. By ingesting various potions and mutagens, these witchers are enhanced beyond the normal capabilities of your average human. While some witchers have unique abilities, all witchers are granted enhanced strength, speed, and endurance, but these amplifications are not minor ones that would separate the average Joe from a peak athlete. A witcher is more like a super soldier similar to Captain America. Their enhancements allow them to fight and kill monsters one-on-one -on -one that the normal human would never be able to face without a large group. 
Each Witcher also gains cat-like eyes that grant them the ability to see in the dark, a boosted immune system which allows them to ingest large quantities of potions that would normally be lethal, a sort of sixth sense or intuition that helps them read people and track monsters more effectively, and regeneration, which includes a very long lifespan. The more exceptional witchers have lived for centuries. And while magic that the witchers use in the form of signs is nothing compared to what a proficient mage or sorceress can conjure, these signs are invaluable due to their versatility and ability to be cast instantly, which allows the witcher to combo their magic with their quick reflexes, traps, and combat skill. And I know what you're thinking, being a witcher must be pretty great despite the way that people typically treat you, but there is a downside. All witchers do become sterile, unable to have children, which requires these witchers to quote unquote recruit other children to join the cause, and I use that term recruit very loosely. And while witchers are proficient with a multitude of weapons, their primary tools are their steel and silver swords. Their steel swords are used to kill beasts such as bears, wolves, etc., and even to cut down men if they are forced to. But their silver sword, often imbued with powerful magical enhancements, is used to slay the monsters who dwell in the dark. Each one also sports a witcher medallion, which they obtain from their respective school. These medallions display the school's beast from which they graduated, but it also functions as a device that alerts the Witcher of nearby monsters or magic. If the Witcher enters an area with monsters, their medallion will begin to shake wildly, alerting the Witcher that they are close to their prey. And that's basically it. Witchers are professional monster slayers that help rid the world of any form of creature, beast, or nuisance that the world needs ridding of. Of course, we know that the most famous witcher is Geralt of Rivia, but there are many, many other witchers out there that have made a name for themselves. So if you guys want to learn more about those witchers, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Also, let me know what you want to see covered from the Witcher book series, games, and the Netflix series. As I said, we've already seen it, so we're planning a ton of content for that, but we want to know what you guys want to see. So let us know down below. Also, remember to like and subscribe. It does really, really help us out. And if you want to support the channel directly, you can consider becoming a member. Also, follow us on all the social media that you see on screen. And remember the motto, it's witchers over everything. And I'll see you guys next time.